Hi, and welcome to our ninth iOS programming tutorial. And today, we're going to be looking at generating random numbers within your application. So, open up Xcode and let's get started. Create a new Xcode project, and I'm just going to call mine random number. Make sure you're using automatic reference counting, and storyboards and unit tests are optional. I'm only going to set mine to be an iPhone application, but again, you can customize that. Then click Next and create your project. Let's begin in the storyboard. We'll add in a label which we can display our text on, or our random number on. And so let's set that just to be 0 at the start. So change the label's text to 0. I'm just going to make the text a bit bigger. And center it. And then add in a button, and we'll call that Make Random Number. Then, go into your Assistant Editor by clicking on the Tuxedo icon in the top right corner. Now we need to create an outlet for our label and an action for our button, so that we can change the text of the label when the button is clicked. So after the At Interface line in our ViewController.h, Add a curly bracket, an opening curly bracket, and then press enter so Xcode will insert the closing curly bracket. Then right click or control click on your label in your storyboard and drag it in between the two curly brackets. Make sure the connection is outlet, type UI label and storage strong, and I'm just going to call mine label. Then below the curly bracket, right click and drag make random number. Set the connection to be an action. Type ID, event touch up inside, arguments sender, and we'll call this random number. Then click connect. Then let's go into viewcontroller.m. Under the at implementation line at the top, put a few enters and then type int random number. This is just what where we'll be just setting the int random number below the in at implementation line so that anything within this view here can access it. If we created the integer, which is just a number, so this is just a number here, let me quickly explain that. This here is a number. Right now it has no value. We'll set it to have a random value. Because it's an integer, it has no decimal points, and it always has to be a positive number. Well, not always actually in programming, but it usually will be. So we've got this number, and then we need to set the value of the number in our random number action. We set it in our action because that's what happened when the button is clicked. So the button is clicked here, and then we want to set the random number. So type random number equals arc for random or arc for rand. But let's do arc for random, two curly brackets, and then type percentage and 50. Then add a semicolon. Let me explain what that all means. We're saying this random number, this number here, let's give it a random number between 0 and 50. If we wanted a random number between 0 and 100, then you'd make this number 50 here after the percentage sign 100. Or if you wanted 1,000, make it 1,000. Let's do 999 for this. It's possible that it will give you back the number 0. If you don't want the number 0 to be one of the possible numbers, you'll just have to do an if random, num random number equals equals 0, then random number equals 5. So that's essentially saying that if the random number is 0, then make the random number 5. There's no way to say make a random number between 1 and, 100 and, or 1 and 999. Well, there is, but it's a bit difficult. Anyway, I'm happy to have a 0 as one of my random numbers, so I'm going to leave it just as it is. So what we've done so far is we've generated the random number. So then let's just go label.text, and I showed you how to do this in our second Hello World tutorial equals open two square brackets ns string alloc in it with format at talking mark talking mark and then inside the talking marks type percentage d close the talking marks and add a comma random number then close the square brackets so ignore this line that's just saying set the label text to be equal to this number so the text on the label should be the random number this line here is the actual randomness so that's the only line of code you need to generate a random number. If you wanted it to be really random, you could have two random numbers. For example, you could have that random number and then type int random2 and then 
random two equals arc for random percentage random number. What that would do is that would go, let's create a random number, and it could be between 0 and 999, and then let's create another random number, which can be between 0 and whatever the first random number was. We won't do that, as this arc for random method will give us a random enough answer for this tutorial. You could also do arc for rand, or you can even do just rand, brackets, bracket, percentage. This, however, is the most random method of them all, and will give you the most random possible answer. You need to keep in mind a computer can't actually generate a random number. It all is based on equations that generate a fairly random number, but that still has some logic behind it. After all, it is a computer, and it can't think for itself. If you command and then click on arc for random, you will see a bit of information about how arc for random works. It's all very complex, and obviously you're not expected to understand. In fact, if you read the copyrights, it was developed by the University of California, and Apple's just licensed it to use within the iPhone. Arc for random is used in many programming languages to generate random numbers, and Objective C is no exception. So we've generated our random number, now let's run our application and see if it works. So, go Command R, or click on the Run button, and wait for the iOS simulator to start up. What should happen is when we click on the make random number button, this label will change to a number between 0 and 999. Let's try it out. Yep, so we got 63, 24, 875, 716, 250, and so on. You can keep clicking it to get as many random numbers as you like. You'll obviously be getting different random numbers to me. As the random algorithm doesn't generate a sequence of numbers, it is pretty random. For example, if I set it to be uh, percentage 5, it might go 1, 3, 5 on my computer, but on your computer it might go 1, 2, 3. It all just depends. So let's now try setting it to a lower value, say 10. So this will return a value between 0 and 9. When I said 0 and 999 before, I was wrong. I actually meant 0 and 998. So when we've got percentage 10, it's going to generate one of 10 random numbers, but that starts with 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. That's 10 numbers, but starting with 0. So let's try this out. Yep, and as you can see, that's generating a random number every time. That's a good way if you wanted just a single digit number. So I hope you found this tutorial interesting, and in part 2 of this tutorial, I will show you how to generate random text, which is very similar to generating a random number, except we're just saying if the random number is 1, then select the first piece of text. But you'll find out more in part 2 of this tutorial. So, until then, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and be sure to visit our website 99centsappdevelopment.com, or our Facebook page, all the links are in the description, or message us on YouTube if you have any questions, or comment on this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.